today was a terrible leg day. And the real problem is, is that you are what you eat. And your boy has not been eating. He's been a very bad boy. So, how do we eat more? Well, I'm really sick and tired of being sick, right? This, this sucks. I went from having a sickness, getting the flu shot, getting sick from the flu shot probably, um, because guess what? If you don't know about vaccines, first of all, they give you diabetes and they also give you autism, but I'm joking, don't take that to heart. Um, vaccines don't give you autism, maybe, possibly. But what they really do give you is a small amount of a partially killed or entirely killed virus. That can be flu, that could be COVID, that could be all kinds of things. But it is a partially killed or entirely killed virus. But guess what? <laughs> it's stimulating your immune system. What it's basically doing is it's giving a dead corpse or a almost killed virus to your immune system and says, study this so next time you have to fight it, you already know how to fight it, hypothetically. This is how it's been taught to me. So when people go, I had the vaccine, but I got the flu anyways. That stuff doesn't work. No, it literally gives you the flu. And if your immune system is terrible, like mine apparently, um, you are going to get in for a treat, right? Your immune system is going to go, Gah! And I was also sick when I had the flu shot, so I kind of got dunk. And I was just getting better, and then boom, I got hit again. So, yeah, the fact that I'm not hospitalized, pretty crazy. I don't think I my immune system learned anything from it. I think it's kind of stupid. But any <coughs> But anyways, what am I getting to? All right. Whatever. So, your flu shot, boom, you get it and you get the flu. And you go, "Oh my god, it didn't work." No, it did. It's just uh now you got to take vitamin C and you got to work through that. Now, hopefully, when next time you do get the flu from someone, because you shook someone's hand and then went, Wah, touched her face, you nasty. Uh, then you get it. Now, I got mine originally because I've been in a crowded area, which I'm never at, and I don't go outside. Outside of my work, which I work at a hospital. And I basically have gotten coughed on maybe twice, which is traumatizing. But outside of that, I'm pretty solid. And after that, you know, you just kind of put your hands up in the air and you go, Ah, and then you run out of the room screaming and say, she touched me. No, don't do that. <laughs> no, you go outside, you put some hand sanitizer on, you wash your hands and you put hand sanitizer on again because you're a fiend. By the way, washing your hands is stripping it of bacteria and oil. Washing your hands is very good. It's actually more effective than hand sanitizer sometimes. For the most part, I, I would say for the most part, wash your hands, right? Everyone should wash your hands. But you also need to moisturize your hands because if your hands get dry, they get ashy, and then you start getting scabs, and then you got a real problem on your hands. Then you have scabs that are open, so next time you do talk to somebody that has a cough or whatever, first of all, your skin is, op is an open wound to a small degree or whatever, but you have an open wound on your hand and you're touching other people, which is disgusting. Don't do that, cover it up, right? That's something in, in food and healthcare and quite frankly, in just general hygiene, you should just know that, all right? So there's that. But my point is, is that you need to have a nice, clean hand that is moisturized or is a little oily or whatever. I don't care if you use Vaseline. I don't care if you use lotion. I don't care if you use Bath and Body Works, Magical Sunshine, Rainbow, Supreme Lotion with extra hydrophobic properties. I don't care what you use. Just use a, something after you wash your hands if you're washing your hands a lot. Also, if you are in a situation where you need to wash your hands a lot, stop washing your hands so much and switch to a hand sanitizer. A hand sanitizer is our staple in the hospital. We use Purell. Purell has, a, has an ingredient in it that is a moisturizer. If I put 
hand sanitizer on a hundred times, I'll actually get... Sorry, there's somebody, like, sped behind me. If you put hand sanitizer on a hundred times from Purell, you'll actually get wet hands because there's moisturizer in it, which is good because you want your hands moisturized so they don't dry out. Alcohol dries it out, moisturizer brings it back. It's a perfect balance. It's a perfect compound of a, of a hand sanitizer. It's a reason why we have that stuff in hospitals. It works. You know, you use it a hundred times a day. You know, you wash your hands when you go to the bathroom, but outside of that, you're using that hand sanitizer. Good boy. Now, talking about vaccine, talking about hand sanitizer. My other thing is, is I think I've got a sore throat right now. Remember, we had uh, two, two cough, cold symptoms, whatever you want to call it, back to back. I used to have asthma, so that, sh that stuff hits me hard right and then I had a headache because I hit my head at the gym because I'm stupid and now I'm getting better from the headache I still need to take pain medication when I wake up in the morning and go to sleep but outside of that now I have nasal congestion and now I have a sore throat that's just pissing me off at this point and part of that is because I'm talking all day second of all I think I'm chewing a gum that's not good for my dental um, I think there might be an ingredient in it that I'm not good with, so I think I need to switch gums. Um, so there's also that. Dental health is very important. That's why I got a hundred dollars worth of dental equipment last month, um, or maybe let's last two weeks. I was just brushing my teeth real hard with a regular toothbrush, but that ultrasonic toothbrush will get some stuff done. My teeth are smoother than ever. It's amazing. Um, what am I getting at? We've got to move quick because I'm going to make a stop up here and I don't want to restart the video and all this. It's ridiculous. So, when I'm trying to... <coughs> when I was going to the... <coughs> you see, I've been to the gym so much that my diet really consists of boring stuff. And right now at work, I have good food. When I go to my, um, when I have my breakfast in the morning, I either skip it or have something fun for my house. So I'm pretty happy about that. However, our external factor is dinner. And dinner is usually supposed to be my favorite meal of the day. I used to only eat dinner ever. The problem is, is that I have pulled pork and rice in the freezer. I am sick of it. I am sick of it, bro. I do not want to eat that anymore. It's, it just pisses me off. Like, I don't even like it. I, I'm not even... And part of it is because I'm sick right now, so nothing is enjoyable to me. But it's a real big factor. You know, like, I don't even want to eat it. It's just terrible. But anyways, that's why we're making a little stop up here. We're going to have a little treat because I had a terrible leg day. And it's not a treat because I had a good day. It's a treat because I need to get better. And I know, don't eat a McDonald's every day. It's the only fast food on the, on the way home that I can see that's cheap. And I, I really have everything I need in my fridge at home. Everything I could possibly need. I can make a grilled cheese sandwich right now, but I don't want a grilled cheese sandwich. And let me preface this by saying, I do not crave McDonald's whatsoever at all but I need to eat something right now and I need to eat something unhealthy because I can't even stomach healthy food right now you see what I mean I know it's counterproductive and stupid but I promise you oh shoot I, I need to get gas too well I guess there's the ticket so I'm gonna get gas as well but we're also gonna get some Mickey D I don't like McDonald's bro I, I really am not out there trying to go oh I need McDonald's but I'm not a fiend I don't even like it I'm going there because I want some junk food right now because I had a bad leg day and we gotta have a good back day tomorrow so we need to pack down we need to get strong and this isn't necessarily healthy but you know I watched a Trenton twins video and said I could probably do that so that's what we're doing oh never mind you can go uh, they're making loops and stuff. Oh, they got a parking space. That's why. 
Let's see, let's see. Disabled. Okay. I'll go over here. Yeah, that's fine. I can do that. All right. Well, there's a little summary. I'm going to eat some junk food, go home, chill. I will let you know every time I eat junk food because they are rare instances. Because outside of this, I really am not going out of my way to buy fast food. I buy junk food at the store like a normal individual. And it's getting more and ra more rare. Um, this is really just because I'm sick and I just need to eat some food. But anyways, uh, I'll catch you later. See ya.